Everybody, I'm back again. Hope everybody is having a fantastic Monday because that is the day that I'm recording this video on. It's actually, let me check my phone here. Let me see what time it is. It is 2:34 in the morning, June 10th, which is Monday of 2013. Awesome, 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 awesome. I uh, just got out of the shower. I feel sexified, and uh, I got myself a Pepsi throwback here, drinking this, talking to you guys. Got my piece of shit $20 Walmart chair that I'm sitting on here and it's squeaking like a fucking whatever that squeaks. I'm assuming some type of rodent. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Anything that squeaks, that's what it squeaks like. Alright, well anyway, continuing off, I killed Barrett in the last video and I'm back here at Seraph Industries. And I'm supposed to meet... Not only the pro Seraph in his office, but I am going to go and talk to Fuckface Hole McGee, which is Pritchard. I think that's his name. I think it's Pritchard. I can't remember. Oh shit. Oh, I thought that was, uh, like, what's her face's mom. Never mind. I want to record this video. I, I want to make this one a pretty long video. Because, like I said, I have company, and, you know, it's, it's hard for me to, um, record on a regular basis whenever I have company over. So, um, let me, uh, finish talking before I go in there and, and uh, have a cutscene start. But, um, yeah, that's the reason why I'm recording right now at such an early time in the morning, is because, well, personally, this here is the only time that I have free, really, to record, so... Yeah, I'm gonna go on in here and talk to Dickface Pritchard. What do you want? As much as I hate to admit it, I need your help. That signal you shut down in DRB territory. It's been active for almost a year. You're telling me someone outside this company has had access to our network since before the first attack? I've detected intrusions before and shut them down swiftly every time. But whoever designed this particular algorithm is good. Very good. You've told Sarah? See, here's the thing. The intrusions were possible because of a backdoor access into our security system that I never even knew existed. The one Sanders team used to get inside our plant. <coughs> I've worked here for seven years, Jensen, and this is the first time I've seen that particular access route. David Sarif created it specifically to bypass the firewall. He's hiding something, and I think you should find out what it is. Why me? Because, as far as I can tell, Sarif created that access and was streaming a lot of data through it shortly after your ex-girlfriend suggested he hire you. Ho, ho, ho! Sneaky little fucking prick bastard son of a bitch. Now I'm gonna go have a little talk with that motherfucker. Go on, elevator. Work. Work for me. Do your purpose. It's like the year... 2,000 trillion million. Man, just look at that city. Just look at it. I think that's Detroit? Yeah, that's Detroit. Yeah, I think it's Detroit. Excuse me. Mr. Jensen, isn't it? Sir, you have that charity dinner? In a moment, Isaiah. I was hoping I might run into you, Mr. Jensen. Bill Taggart. The founder of the Humanity Front. I know who you are. Yes. Yes, I imagine you do. I think it's As funny. David it looks like a typical politician. Man, I imagine you have quite the file on me. But I assure you, Mr. Jensen, I am devastated by recent events. Really? I do not support what you and your company are doing to mankind. I believe it's extremely dangerous. But abolishing human enhancement technologies will only be achieved through legal means. I'll keep that in mind. This is your first day back since the... Accident six months ago, isn't it? Sir, we have to go. What happened to me was no accident. Ah, oh, my mistake. But it must have been stressful facing down a second incident so soon. I imagine it brought back all kinds of unpleasant memories. <laughs> uh, should I stay cool or should I confront him? Uh, I'll stay cool. I appreciate your concern, Mr. Taggart. But it was nothing I couldn't handle. 
I'm a psychologist, Mr. Jensen. I know when a man is hiding behind words. The flesh may heal, but the mind is not always so resilient. You might want to keep that in mind. Now, if you'll be so kind as to excuse me. Sure. Wait a minute. I'm curious about something, Mr. Taggart. What is it you hope to accomplish by coming here tonight? I would think that would be obvious. Your company has been viciously targeted. The violence and bloodshed that's occurred, it, it must be stopped. But I'm afraid it won't be until men of wisdom and understanding come to an agreement. About what? About the future, Mr. Jensen. This enhancement technology threatens to change the course of human evolution, to redefine what it even means to be human. You think governments can afford to let that go unregulated? You can't stop progress, Mr. Taggart. Perhaps not. But neither can we afford to sit by and watch it happen on its own. Not when we have the ability, the collective will, and foresight to influence it. I see. Thank you for illuminating me. Anytime. Ha <laughs> ha. Asshole. All right, now to talk to uh, Mr. Boss Man. Hello, Boss Man. Boss, Asshole. We need to talk. Is something wrong? I'm not sure. Did you set up a private access route to bypass the company firewall right before you hired me? <laughs> I what? Pritchard said someone's been using it to access our system since before the first attack. The security measures he and I set in place never stopped them because we didn't even know the loophole existed. Oh. I see. <clears throat> Frank's fixed that, though, right? He has now. But he's wondering why you never mentioned it. Frank's paranoid, Adam. You know that. Can a busy man forget things once in a while? You streamed an awful lot of data through that portal, boss. Right before you brought me on board. Preacher may be paranoid, but I gotta admit, I'm wondering what was in it, too. Yeah, as an ex-cop, I guess you would. But the important thing is, you found the hole and plugged it. We're secure now. And the information you uncovered in that FEMA facility may actually help us track these guys. So let's just stay focused on what's important. Ha, <laughs> bastard. I want to, believe me. I want to catch these guys as badly as you do. But that breach is responsible for every security crisis we've had, including today's. If you want me to stop these guys, I need to know what kind of data they've had access to. You're right, you're right. I'm sorry if I seem evasive. The truth is, I've had a lot of other things on my mind. I'm trying to secure a future here for all of mankind. I can't let trivial security concerns get in the way when people like Bill Taggart want to see me fail. No, you're my best warrior, Adam, and I, and I trust you. I know the loyalty you've shown me will only continue as we take this fight into the future. Because that's what's really important, isn't it? The future. The future. <coughs> Boss, I think we're getting sidetracked here. If you want me to win this war for you, I need to know how badly we've been compromised. I need to know what was in that data stream, in case our enemies accessed it. You think they could have? I see your point, son. That might be bad. Your concerns about the data being compromised won't really be an issue as long as we stay strong and work together as a team. That's all I've ever tried to do here. Find the best, most qualified people I can, and bring them all together so they can complement each other. Now, Megan understood that. That's why she suggested I hire you in the first place. To help this little family of ours survive. Oh, fuck. Come on now. Megan? Boss, what does Megan have to do with any of this? I thought we were discussing a security breach. She doesn't. I mean, I, I mean not, not directly. The data I streamed had nothing to do with Megan or her work. 
It was just a routine fact-finding check that sprang from one of our discussions, the kind of check I have to run quite often around here, believe it or not. Now, if somebody backtraces the transmission and gets a look at it, I very much doubt they'll know what to do with it. Trust me, we're fine. Yeah, I don't think so. <clears throat> I would like nothing better than to trust you with this, boss. But trust is a two-way street, and the way you've handled this entire conversation so far makes me think that it's you who isn't trusting me. Why, boss? What is it you're so afraid to tell me? Adam, of course I trust you, son. And it's not that I'm afraid to tell you the truth. It's just that, honestly, I'm afraid you'll take it the wrong way. All right. Look, the truth is, I set up a confidential data channel for a private investigator, someone who can run covert background checks on people, potential new recruits like you. You what? I had to, Adam. You were a liability, remember? You'd just been fired from SWAT. Now, Megan believed in you, but I had to be sure. Look, I don't want this to come between us. I'll send the files to your computer. You can see for yourself what he dug up. But Adam, you'd better be sure. Why? What do you mean? I mean, sometimes the past should stay in the past. Once you see that data, you can't unring the bell. When you're ready, come back and talk to me. We need to discuss our next move. Ho oh. <clears throat> ho. Yeah, I already know about that, but uh, just in case you guys don't, I want to go ahead and show you. I'll show you exactly what he's talking What? What the f- Come on. Get in the elevator, you fucking crackhead bastard. <sighs> but yeah, I already know about all the information that uh, that Seraph guy was talking about. Um, you know, because I have my own personal save on here and everything, and I've played it, like I haven't played it recently, but I've played it, like, further way past this point. So, yeah. I'll go ahead and read it, and I'll let you guys see it. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. I had a friend at the Gen... the Genevieve Labs run the test off the records like you asked. Does your subject know that neither of his parents are his birth parents? That surprised me. The mother was sterile, according to those old medical records I dug up. But his dad carries no common phenotypes either. Huh. For a period of eight years, Arthur relied on the insurance policy of his then-employer, White Helix Labs, to pay for his wife's medication. She was on antidepressants since 14 and needed regular prescriptions. When White Helix Labs burned down, all its files and employment records were lost, and the Jensen stayed invisible, mostly. <laughs> Here's the thing. One minute Adam doesn't exist, and next, the Jensen's have themselves a bouncing and healthy five-year-old. That's when they pull their vanishing act. So, on a hunch... I sniffed around some more, yeah. <laughs> so, pretty much, um, Adam Jensen, our character here, his parents are not his real parents, and... Athena tells me you spoke to Saraf. Yeah, Did basically Did he happen that. to tell you why he made us look like idiots? I'm handling it. You can imagine how relieved I am to hear that. I'll tell you what. While you follow any lead Saraf spoon feeds you, I'm going to do what I should have done in the first place and backtrace that signal. That's your pride, dogging. Still, get back to me if you find something. You meant when? Pretty sure I didn't. Ha. Ha 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 ha. Pretty sure I didn't. Ha ha ha, that's funny. Ha 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 ha. Sorry about that. That was just so funny! Did you guys think so? That was just so fucking hilarious. You know what would also be hilarious? Me ending this video right now, but I'm not going to. 
I'm gonna talk to this douchebag fuck nut face. Here, this is for you. It's a corporate passport encoded with your biometrics. I've set up a false flag routing which should get you to Henshaw Island without any problems. You're sending me to China? What about FEMA? FEMA's got nothing to do with this, trust me. We'll have better luck in China. How can you say that? I saw the bastard who killed Megan pulling his men out of that facility. I left one of those men dead in its underground storage bay. I know that, Adam. Frank was monitoring the whole thing. So I also know that before he died, that man gave you an address in China. I want you to check it out. That doesn't make any sense. Look, Adam. There's a reason this company's under attack. You think it has to do with the typhoon or with some other top secret military project that I haven't told you about? The thought had crossed my mind. Yeah, well, it doesn't. The work Megan's team was doing before they were killed, it was redefining what it means to be human. This company, Seraph Industries, was about to lead mankind to its next stage in human development, self-controlled evolution. Can't you see how scary that can be to some people? Sure. I also see how lucrative it can be for some others. It's never been about money for me, Adam. But you're right. There are people out there who don't exactly feel the same. Like who? I'm hoping you'll be able to find that answer for us in China. So get going. Farida's prepping the chopper. All right, going to China. Ooh, I got a new praxy. God damn it, wrong button. Oh shit, I have three of them. Damn. I wonder what I should get. I should probably get a social enhancer. That would be very good. Uh, okay, so I can analyze people and persuade them now. Well, that's cool. Uh, what else can I get? Yeah, I should probably upgrade this. Yeah. All right. I want to know in the feedback from this video, guys. Like, I, I seriously do this here. Like, even if you guys don't want to comment, it, it'll help me out a lot. But it, this is just an opinion, personally, that I want from you guys. Like, I, I mean, I'll still have my opinion. I'll still do what I want. But I want to know what you guys prefer mostly. Do you guys prefer shorter videos or longer videos? I, I want to know which ones you guys enjoy more. Watching more shorter videos or watching more longer videos? I want to try to connect with my audience more, and I want to know you know exactly what you guys like that way I can try to meet some of those demands but then again it's pretty difficult so I'd have to put that into a, a lot of consideration I'd have to think about it a lot but yeah I want your opinions on that I really do hey Jensen the boss said you were on your way you're gonna love Hangsha you've been there used to live there I spent three maybe four years working in the upper city and most of my nights having fun in the lower one you ready to <laughs> I thought I was. How long is this gonna take, Malik? You mean the flight or the fun afterward? Don't worry, we'll be there before you know it. Climb in. In the future, helicopters go as fast as jets, if not faster. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, so now we're in China, guys. Clubbing time, yeah. I really want to kill some shit, though. I really want to level up. Oh, yeah, and I tried um, surfing the internet and uh, trying to uh, see if they have any mods for this game. And Yeah, so far my search has been, yeah, not so successful. So apparently there are no mods for this game. Jensen, you might want to get ready. The jewel of the Yangtze approaches. 
Son of a bitch. I'm supposed to find answers in that. <laughs> hey, twice the scum and half the space. Hang on, we're going in. The address you got off that Merc, Hengshaw Court Gardens? It's a bit of a walk from here, in the Yuzhou district, but I figured it might be best not to drop you too close. In case Baron only gave up the address, knowing I'd walk into another trap. It's the kind of thing I'd do to an enemy. You want my advice? Just find out who lives there and get out. Guess what this calls for, guys? Save point in me ending the video. Uh, I can go ahead and uh, give you a sneak peek through telling you what my next episode is going to consist of. Um, my next episode is mostly going to consist of me doing side quests and stuff like that here. So, um, yeah, just like I did before, I like to do all the side quests or try to do as many as I can before I do the main story quests. So, yeah, if you like the game and you like the video, please like, leave a comment, and please subscribe because every little bit helps and it's just a click away. I'll see all you guys in the next video. Peace!